Hey there, I'm Eugene Ramirez. It is Tuesday, January 30th, and meteorologist Lisette Gonzalez has her travel forecast. Thanks, Eugene. As we head into your Wednesday, we'll still be on the cool side in South Florida, waking up to the 50s and the highs, struggling to reach the low 70s. The same goes for Tampa, 59 the high in Jacksonville, as we're seeing those cooler temperatures across the southeast, 50s and 60s. Yep, winter's not over yet. In fact, near freezing temperatures for places like Boston, New York City, and Philadelphia across the Central U.S. 53 in Kansas City, 22 in Fargo, 33 in Minneapolis, and a storm system impacting the Pacific Northwest yet again. Where we're we're going to continue with those uh, cold highs in the 40s, and thankfully a little bit more mild in Los Angeles, the high 75. Lizette, thanks. The need for mentors is great. And did you know Miami ranks last among major cities in the number of residents who volunteer? Well, that's why women like Thema Campbell are dedicated to changing lives, even if it's one girl at a time. Here's CBS4 anchor Rudabe Shabazi with this story. I was reading the research about how children who are mentored is 55% more likely to graduate from high school, to go on to college, to not use drugs, and to not uh, become a teenage parent. Mentoring plays a big part in all of this. For nearly 20 years now, Thema Campbell has been on a mission as the president and CEO of Girl Power to improve the world one girl at a time. January is the month when we say thank you to mentors. On this night, Campbell and her team host a mentor appreciation night at Lulu's Ice Cream Shop in downtown Miami. Campbell is hoping to recruit mentors like Ellen Woods, who have connected with a young girl and made the world of difference in their lives. I didn't know that it was, it was something we're supposed to do. And that's how I always looked at it. She was, could be my daughter. So let's go and hang out. Let me show you something new. And in turn, I learned a lot of new things from her as well. Ellen Woods is describing her relationship with her mentee, Adeline Demajuste. They met eight years ago. Adeline was 14 years old and headed down a dangerous path. When I first met her, she used to be a fighter. She used to fight in the street. And I'm like, what are you fighting in the street for? Because I ain't no punk, Miss Ellen. Adeline, who's now 24 years old, also remembers those times vividly. I, I always always loved to fight like that was my biggest weakness and she came I mean she, she told me this one thing she's like they're just like crabs in the bucket crawling you down crawling you down and you know she's she instead of her saying oh my god I'm gonna give up on her she's never gonna be anything she's never gonna make it she saw the light over the years Ellen along with the team at girl power gave Adeline the confidence and pride to believe in herself looking people in the eye and smiling that was the biggest challenge of, oh my God, like so many people like just smiling and having an eye contact changed my perspective. Like now I just smile randomly to people. Even if you don't smile back at me, I'll smile and I'm like, I become so cheerful and I never used to be like that. If I was not in that program, I'll probably be in the streets, continue doing my ways again because, you know, I, like I said, I didn't see me becoming anything. Adeline is now attending college and engaged to get married later this year. And she says all those years of mentoring are helping her give back as well. I'm like becoming a little mentor myself. And, I, and then I didn't realize I'm like, whoa, this is something Miss Allen, like this is what Miss Allen did for me. Back at Lulu's, the call for future mentors is sweet and powerful. Sometimes as mentors, we're supposed to tap into who they are and let them see who they are. I was glad to be a part of her life. So be a mentor, be a mentor. That was Rudabe Shabazi reporting. Campbell and her team also add, it's not that these children don't have great parents, but oftentimes parents need some help to expose young people to different perspectives. For information on how you can become a mentor, visit us online at cbsmiami.com slash mentoring matters. You'll find a list of organizations you can get involved with there. Also tell us about mentors in your life. Email us, mentoringmatters at cbs.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Eugene Ramirez. Remember, we're always on cbsmiami.com. Have a great day.